Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So if you guys have been following me on social media, you'll see that a couple of days ago I attended an event called um, Fix Fam, which is basically about Mag Studio Fix Foundation. And they're just having this campaign just to teach people a few hacks, tips and tricks about the foundation. And I've been chosen as a South African influencer to speak about my tips and tricks when it comes to this foundation because I've been using it for almost two years now, on and off of course. And um, I always come back to this foundation because it is the only foundation that I've tried where they have my exact skin tone, I mean my exact skin shade, as well as the only foundation that I can use without a concealer and still have full coverage just to cover up my acne scars. And I love how it doesn't really look cakey. It can have a skin finish. Obviously, there's ways that you can work around that if you have if you want full coverage, if you want skin, um, skin like uh, a skin like finish with this foundation if you're someone with dry skin but you also want to use the foundation because of the coverage. I'm just gonna be sharing a few tips and tricks on how to work around that. Um with you ladies. So if you are interested in finding out my tips and tricks, you can continue watching. There are 46 shades in this foundation range and my two shades are NC44.5 as well as NC45. Now the reason why I have two different shades is because my skin obviously goes through phases. When I'm getting chemical peels and when I am treating my acne, I find that I am lighter than what I usually am. In summer days, I do go a bit darker, so I use NC45, and um, when my skin has a bit more texture, I prefer to use NC45 because it's darker and I feel like it gives a better coverage. It has more of an orange undertone. So I switch between the two shades, and lately I've been finding that the NC44.5 is a bit light for me, but the NC45 can be a bit dark, so I like to mix them. I recently put a picture up on my Instagram and one of the ladies commented that it is a great foundation for people with oily skin but it's not that recommended for people with dry skin. Now let me tell you something, my skin goes from being oily to being dry to being this to being that to being a combination and I've found so many ways to work around it and actually use this foundation whatever state my skin is in. If you are someone with dry, um, dry skin and you find that this foundation does crack, I would recommend that you invest in the Prep and Prime Essential Oils from MAC. This is what it looks like. There is also It also comes in a stick form. You can literally use this as your primer or you can mix this with your foundation just so that it has more of a dew finish instead of mattifying if you do have dry skin. Another thing you can do if you have dry skin and you feel like the foundation looks a bit dull and it cracks and that and that, you can also go in with a strobe cream. This is also available from MAC. This will just help your foundation have more of a dewy, natural glow finish in case you don't want to use the oil on your face. And then tips for people with extremely dark marks or people who suffer with hyperpigmentation. I find that this foundation has perfect coverage for me without a concealer. I'm very happy with the coverage. Um, it is of course buildable but the problem with building up foundation is that it does get to a point where it starts looking cakey. So what you can do is you can use the MAC um, Pro Conceal and Correct palette. I got this palette, well I started using this palette two years ago, I haven't been using it much lately because I'm happy with the coverage, but when my marks are extremely dark, I do like to color correct using this um, MAC palette. This is available in different shades, so it does accommodate all skin tones. And another thing that is very, very, very important, I feel this is important when it comes to using any foundation, but most import importantly this foundation, if you want your foundation to sit very well and last long and have that flawless finish, you need to have a well prepped base. And you guys, this primer, hey, wow, I bought this primer the other day because the ladies at MAC are always raving about this natural radiance primer and how amazing it is and how it makes your makeup sit so well and last so long so I was like mm, let me actually go buy this primer and I have no regrets I honestly have no regrets it is on the pricey side I think I bought it for about 550 Rand but it is worth them coins girl listen if you use studio fix I really really would recommend this primer all skin types can use this primer it's not only for people with oily or people with dry skin it feels so amazing on your skin like it's it sort of sets like a serum this is what the product looks like so ladies get your hands on this primer especially if you're someone with oily skin okay so let's jump into the tutorial i'm gonna go in with two pumps of my natural radiance because i am dramatic you probably don't need to go in with two pumps i'm sure one pump is enough but i mean I want to be 
prepped up. And you can just sort of like blend it into your skin. And I think when working products into your skin, it's better to go in circular motion than to be like dragging your skin down because that can cause premature aging, guys. I mean, not out here trying to look to age quickly. And I sort of like to just tap this into the skin because I want it to fill up those pores. We do not want pores to appear underneath our foundation, guys. I'm going to be moving on to my two foundations, which is NC45 and NC44.5. As I said, I do feel that this is a bit light on me right now. So I'm going to go in with about one and a half pump of this and almost like a half pump to one pump of the NC44.5. Another product I'm going to add is obviously my strobe cream because I want that whole dewy skin like finish. And I feel like I actually just, I'm putting way too much. So I'm just going to work this into my skin. And as you guys can see, I'm putting a lot of product around the perimeter of my face. Because that's where I have a lot of my problem areas where my scarring is. I break out a lot towards the sides of my face than I do in the center. Guys, this is so important. When you're blending your foundation, don't drag. Do not drag because that's when you end up with streaky lines on your face. Especially with a, a, a foundation that has such a thick consistency. It's important to dab the foundation on. Once the product has been evenly distributed across my face, I am just going to go in with my beauty blender and dab the rest of my product into my skin. It sounds so gross when you say into your skin because it's... it's but like, yeah, you want it to sit on your skin very, very well. So that's it for foundation. Now I'm just going to go and do the rest of my face. And I will come show you guys the final product. And just another couple of tips while I'm blending. If you feel like you get smile lines or frown lines or whatever. You can also just sort of set the area with either a translucent powder. Or a powder that is your... um skin tone just to prevent that and once you're done doing your face you are now just going to set your makeup with the prep and prime fix plus spray which is honestly my favorite setting spray now <laughs> now normal people will literally go in with like one two three i'm like I run through these things like there's no tomorrow. I want my face to be wet. So yeah, ladies, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed my hacks and I hope you find some of them useful. Hopefully they can apply to um, some of you who are interested in using the Studio Fix. With a variety of product at MAC, you can definitely find ways to mix and use the products to best suit your skin type and your skin tone and your skin concerns. So if you guys do like this video, please give it a very big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and ask me any questions. I will be responding to anyone who has any other um, foundation concerns. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.